In this problem, we have to find the derivative of this function. So whenever we have a fraction and there is a number up top, the strategy is to avoid the quotient rule and take the piece in the bottom and bring it up. So let's go ahead and take that approach. So before we do that, we should rewrite the bottom piece as follows. So y is equal to 7 over. And so whenever we have a square root, we can write it as something to the 1 half power. So this is actually x plus 3 to the 1 half. And now we can bring it upstairs. So this is 7 and then parentheses x plus 3 to the negative 1 half. And again, this is a really good strategy whenever you have a number up top and a fraction. So like if we had, say instead we had 7x over the square root of x plus 3, then in this case you would use the quotient rule. right? You would not want to use uh, the strategy that we're using in this problem. The only reason that this is a better route it's, is because we have a number up top. It saves us some time. Okay, now let's take the derivative. So y prime. So we're going to use the chain rule. So we'll bring down the negative 1 half. So that'll give us negative 7 halves. So we multiply it by the 7. Then we leave the inside untouched. So x plus 3. And then now we subtract. So negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 halves, so negative 3 halves, and then times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 3 is 0, so we just get 1 here. This is equal to negative 7 halves times, I'll go ahead and bring this down, x plus 3 to the 3 halves, and that would be the derivative. I hope this video has been helpful.